morning you guys what's going on it's Kayla and Caleb and welcome back to another video today we're gonna be showing you what we eat in a day as a vegan couple because we haven't filmed on these in like forever we filmed a few like out and about videos but I haven't really shown you what he eats in a while and we both have the day off and we'll just be hanging out so I thought it would be a good time to do it so we're both just eating our breakfast which you just saw us make I am eating the bowl that I've been eating like every single day you guys are probably annoyed by it uh, banana blueberries almond milk vega coconut almond protein powder and then topped with a bunch of mulberries and it's my favorite thing ever and it's so good yeah and what do you have <clears throat> i have a smoothie bananas uh chia seed flax seed and amazing grass chocolate peanut butter protein powder <laughs> chocolate mm. peanut butter protein powder. you gotta practice so um and a lot of water. I like my, she likes her smoothies in a bowl and thicker, super thick. Super so thick. So thick. I like mine a little watery and in a, in a jar with a straw. Because most of the time when I, <laughs> You're bad. when I eat breakfast before work, I have to drink them fast. Anyway, we're just gonna show you what we eat today. We don't know what we're gonna make for lunch or dinner. I don't know if it's gonna be exciting or not, but we figured since we both will be hanging around that we would do this, so. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be super fun. I'm really hungry, so yeah, me too. we're gonna get on with this Very and good. we'll see you guys for lunch. See ya. I'm sorry this lighting is terrible. I'm gonna squint the entire time I'm talking because the sun is really bright, but we decided to run out to the store because one, we really need a new batch of bananas. So we're going to the banana store as we call it. And then we're gonna go to our regular grocery store because we decided we're gonna make uh, chickpea meatloaf and mashed potatoes for dinner so we're gonna get some ingredients for that which we actually don't need too much we have pretty much everything we need but we need a few things and then it's gonna have like a maple glaze type thing on top so I'm excited we're gonna go get the ingredients for that and then we'll be back home so catch up with you guys later all right so jokes on us the banana store actually didn't end up having any bananas even in the vicinity of yellow let alone spotty they were all like bright green so we just went across the street to target and target ended up having like a ton of them so we got um two full bags there's one bag up here and one bag up back there we had 11 bunches of bananas and they're all like spotty and ready to go in the freezer so that was awesome so now we're gonna run to wegman's to get our stuff for dinner and then we're gonna go all right, so we just got home. I did not bring my camera into Wegmans because it was crazy for some reason. I don't know why everyone is out grocery shopping in the afternoon on a Tuesday, but they are. So now we're home and I'm just gonna show you quick what we got. So first we got this giant thing of apple cider vinegar. We buy it in bulk just because it's easier and then we keep it in smaller containers. This is raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized, tastes like shit, organic, but because it's good for us, we get it. For the record, I don't think it tastes like shit. It does. Um, then we got a punnet of cherry tomatoes, a bag of onions, a bag of white potatoes, some tomato paste that we needed for dinner, some chickpeas that we also needed for dinner, some pickles because we just ran out, and then we just have the bags full of bananas, and we got some cat litter, and that is all we got. So now we're gonna make lunch. I actually really have to pee. Then we're gonna make lunch, so I'll show you what we eat for lunch, and Keep going with this video. What's up YouTube? It's lunch time. We just got back from the stove. I'm gonna eat some, I made these home fries last night for dinner and I got a bunch of them left over. So I'm gonna eat those. And I just put some Sir Kensington's ketchup on it. And some Cholula. Hey guys, so I just made lunch. It's really heavy. I don't know if I can pick oh. it up with one hand. Rumi is crazy. I made this massive chocolate berry bowl. I really just wanted plain chocolate and ice cream to be honest, but we only had one frozen banana so that wasn't really going to happen so I had to add in something else so I decided to add in blueberries. So I just did a frozen banana, frozen blueberries, some almond milk, um, a packet of chocolate mocha protein powder from MRM, and that's it. And then I covered it in dried mulberries, of course. It's actually not bad. The mocha is a little weird, but it's pretty good. So now we're just <laughs> chilling on the couch. Oh. And we're probably gonna watch some Grace and Frankie because we're obsessed with Grace and Frankie right now and just chill and then I don't know we'll probably see you again when we start making our meatloaf for dinner 
Hey guys, so it is dinner time, so let's make some meatloaf. So the oven is preheated to 375 Fahrenheit, and then we have all of our ingredients here ready, so I'm just gonna toss them all into the food processor, and then we'll get going. Um, the full recipe will be linked down below, so I'm not gonna tell you the measurements of everything, but I'll tell you all your ingredients we're putting in. So we're gonna start with two cups of oats that um, normally would call for breadcrumbs, but to make them gluten-free, we couldn't find any gluten-free breadcrumbs, so we're just gonna go with that. Then we've got flaxseed and nutritional yeast, some celery, carrots, and onions, two tablespoons of liquid aminos or any like tamari or soy sauce, some minced garlic, some tomato paste, some liquid smoke, and some salt, this is pepper, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, some pepper and salt, I also forgot to add some unsweetened almond milk, and then I'm going to blend that all up before I add the chickpeas because you're supposed to keep the chickpeas pretty whole, but I don't. we don't really want big chunks of celery or carrots or anything. We're just going to blend these up so everything's a little more like pulsed down, and then we're going to add in the chickpeas. I don't think they're all going to fit, so I'm going to do as much as I can, and then maybe transfer it all to a big bowl and just kind of like mash it together. So the food processor didn't really work out, so we're just going to mash it all up a little bit and incorporate the kind of like batter that we made with the first set of ingredients with the chickpeas. And then I'm just gonna put it in a loaf pan to avoid spilling because I'm notorious for that. I'm just gonna scoop it. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes and after you cook it for 30 minutes, you take it back out and put the glaze on it. I'll show you how we make the glaze when we make the glaze. And then bake it for another like 20 to 25 minutes. Sous chef. <laughs> now we're going to make the glaze. Let's just pick it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to add a quarter cup of tomato paste. And then in here I have a mixture of maple syrup, liquid aminos, and apple cider vinegar. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of paprika. And then that is the glaze, so just stir that all together. I'm to get dinner. Yeah, you're right, the mint's a better idea. Alright. Did you hear that, guys? <laughs> she said I was right. So it's been, no, it's still gonna be hard, I'm weak. So it's been 30, maybe should have flattened that out more, but it's been 30 minutes. It looks funny, but hopefully it tastes good. So now we're going to add the glaze that you saw us make probably two seconds ago because I didn't film anything in between that time. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put it back in and I'm going to use two pot holders. And it goes back in for like 25 to 25 more minutes. And while we wait for that to happen, we're gonna make our mashed potatoes. Got our potatoes boiling away and two more minutes on the meatloaf. All right, so our meatloaf is done. Oh, it looks really good. Yum. We're just going to let that sit for like 10 minutes so it can st stiffen up a little bit. And then we also just strain the potatoes, which we're just going to mash and probably add like a little bit of almond milk and black pepper and garlic powder and onion powder and all the other good things that you add to mashed potatoes. Pretty standard and self-explanatory. Then we're going to eat. Then we're going to eat. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. All right, here are our plates. Are you excited? Yes. 
And then we just made an extra batch of the sauce because it didn't really cover as much as we were hoping and we know we're gonna want it more covered. I like it saucy. Mm -hmm. So let's dig in. You wanna take a bite? The first bite of the night. Like the first gift of Christmas. How hot is this gonna be? I don't know. It looks really steamy. It's good. I like it. All right, taste test for me. Kind of reminds me of stuffing, which would make sense as to why you're not a huge fan because he doesn't like stuffing. It does feel like stuffing. But I think it's really good. The, the sauce is really good. The sauce is delicious. So we're gonna eat and not have the camera on our face the whole time and see you when we're done. Plate number two. Taters round two. <laughs> All right, so it's been not that long since dinner, and Caleb decided to make these little, like, peanut butter balls. Uh, we didn't show him making them because, um, I don't really know why. I just didn't feel like filming it, but I will leave the recipe below if you guys are interested. If they're good, we haven't tried them yet. They're not pretty. They're massive. Look at that thing. I got a little out of hand. So we're gonna try them. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. They're tasty. I should have made them smaller. I got impatient. <sighs> They're really good though. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe below. Definitely recommend. Look at that. Yum. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, sorry. Um, we're gonna end the video here. We're gonna eat another one of these peanut butter ball things, one each. And that is what we ate today, so we're probably just going to watch more Grace and Frankie if I had to guess. And I actually just finished editing all of this video except for this clip, so I'm going to also upload this video right now. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Neither of us, okay, I have one empty hand, but give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave us any video suggestions you have in the comments yeah, as do it. always, and we love you. We love you. See you in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.